Good evening, Tiz. Are you going to be first? Congratulations. <laughs> I'm actually surprised Paul wasn't lurking. Probably got up to get a drink or something. Okay. Um. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Congrats on being second. How do we feel about this techno music? I'm not sure how to f feel about it. Eh, it's okay. Okay. Well, good luck. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> um, so, quick recap for uh, last stream. Uh, I know that you didn't um, stay the full time, Paul, and I don't know that you had a chance to catch up. But basically, we are currently, um, we're not Mizuki, we're the other dude, the guy with, uh, Tama. And, um, we've been hunting down clues to, to the, uh, the video. We finally figured out who released the QR video, and that's Nice at Laws. Um, we... We in, we synced with a guy who was the re researcher for um, uh, what's his face? So some kind of genetic thing. A trailer revealed them. Well, I didn't watch any of the trailers. <laughs> happy, happy Chikata. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> oh, that was that that was disturbing. <laughs> Chikara Hidori has done it again. <laughs> I wanted to strangle him. That uh ugh, blah. <laughs> creepy old man. Um blah. Yeah, there there's there's certain things that make me want to peel my skin off, and that was one of them. <laughs> uh, um, let's see, what else? So we... We found Nice at Laws, um, and we went there and found out that they released the... the Bats 490 video, and it was... A video that was basically a recruitment video. Bats 490 was a recruitment video and um, it was to get like-minded in individuals to come to Nice at Laws and be part of this ideological society, aka cult, um, because they are very convinced that their world is a simulation and they're trying to break the simulation and liber liberate mankind. Um, and I think we may have found a way to a secret ending of some type because she asked us if we were a frayer and I pretended like I knew what she was talking about and she asked me for the nil number. I did not know what the nil number was so I was not able to get past that. But um, I have a feeling that's going to come up later. Um, let's see what else. I think that was pretty much it, but um, there there's basically a sect that broke off 
from Nice at Laws, and they are the what? What were they called? The Cult of Awakening or something? Um, something like that. Yeah, the Order of Percent. And um, I don't remember what their what their uh, deal was, but basically, um, he knew of the Bats Four Ninety, and I think he also knew of the other. Um, thing. But anyway, there was a lot of talk of Warp and Weft. Or was it Weft, I think? Basic, basically a lot of fabric terms. And I went on a whole rant about that. But I ended up googling it and uh, I was partially right. So I'm, I'm going to pull that back up real fast because I was talking with Tiz about it. Uh, so, the definition of weft is the crosswise threads on a loom over and under which other threads, the warp, are passed to make cloth. And warp and weft are the two basic components needed in weaving to turn thread or yarn into fabric. Uh, the length or logi- lengthwise or longitudinal warp yarns are held stationary in tension on a frame or a loom while the transverse weft sometimes woof is drawn through and inserted over and under the warp so if you've ever taken a um if you've ever taken like an art class like i did this in my third grade art class we actually had a giant loom that um we practiced weaving on like we tried it out and basically we had all these vertical um strands on the loom and what we were doing were we were we were taking threads and going over and under in between the verticals and um it was really cool but that's how you weave on a loom and create fabric like it's done on a very minute scale for fabric but um for like carpets and stuff that that's how they do that so it's very interesting that that's being applied to like the idea of the fabric of reality so it's really really kind of neat and uh i i went down a whole rabbit hole with that Oh my lordy. Uh, Kitty Kim, thank you for four months! Goodness me. Welcome in. Uh, Just as a reminder, today's game is a mature game, so if there's any kiddos that are wandering around, you might not want to have them present for the stream. Just as a uh, blanket statement. Um, This is a mature stream, so no one under... Eh, 17, 18 allowed for the stream. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to put that out as a blanket statement. Uh, it is, however, time for us to start the video game. And uh, once again, um, this game does have flashing lights. So if you are a person who has seizures or uh, any kind of issues with flashy lights, be aware that that is part of this game. And I am sorry. <laughs> All your kids are furry. I t- t- took that a different way for a second. <laughs> I'm not going to go any deeper into that statement. I'm going to pause the music and get the game up. Game, 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 game. Uh. All right. Load game. Um, and I think I manually saved. Yeah, I did. Load the save data. 
We don't shame them. Uh, the, the ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands I of agree. years. It will soon become craftsmanship a is if he's impressive. willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. Okay, Not true, boss. Then, let's begin. The experiment worked. Uh. Ooh, happy, happy Shikara. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. I feel calm when I'm around nature. I hate that. I hate that so much. All right, right. So, uh, Tama gave us some kind of uh, this, this VR exploration thing. Uh, so let's explore, why not? Uh, corpse. Like I mentioned yesterday, Jin's estimated time of death is 6 o'clock on February 9th. Based on the time his corpse appeared, it should be about 40 hours ago. Hmm. Rigor mortis seems to be fading already. It's not completely gone yet, but the body has somewhat softened at this point. It should take more time to get to the stage if it's been on a rooftop in the winter. That's why I think this corpse was kept indoors. Someplace warm. Okay, rigor mortis was fading and had softened by the time it was found. So we have that as information now. Signboard. I wonder how deep this sign is embedded. What do we do at times like these? Right, the x-ray. Alright, so we're gonna x-ray it. How, how do I use the x-ray? What is happening? Crime Strike, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! How do I x-ray? Uh, oh, there we go. I can switch to x-ray mode, too. That's because I've gathered all data from the scene. Waha! What? Why is there so many... Uh, I'm gonna come back to that. The bottom part of the signboard is stuck pretty deep in there. Hmm, there's a bit of a curve at the tip. Kind of like a man's... you know what? Tama! Couldn't you have compared it to a fish hook or something? Well, it won't come out easily. That's what she said. Whoever stuck it in probably didn't want to come out. That's what she said. Of course not. The signboard would be useless unless it's standing. It's useless unless it's standing? That's what she said. Uh, let's not go there. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, so it's stuck in the corpse. I have many questions as to why there are multiple people with only one leg. Or what, what, what? You can see the back of the set. There's. Um, oh, mannequins. Okay. Bunch of mannequins. That's completely normal. Hi, demon! What's this? There's something inside the body. What's inside the body? Hmm. Three things catch my attention. First, a mixture of potassium chlorate, sulfur, and red phosphorus. Is that a bomb? This is probably a fire starter. It would ignite very easily. That's right, there was an explosion. The fuse is coiled up and extends from there. By the way, the fuse includes an oxidizing agent, so it can continue to burn even inside the body. And finally, at the end of the fuse is a powder mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. This is a substance that causes a thermite reaction. When ignited, it creates heat of over 3,000 degrees Celsius and burns violently. All right. Interesting. Anything else to x-ray? Not immediately. No. Oop, it's not that. Uh, switch out of that. Oh, there we go. It's a signboard. Yeah. That's a signboard. I'm doing well, demon. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Big monitor. Looks like it's there so the performers can check how they look on screen. Makes sense. It's a monitor for checking yourself out. It's a camera. The body was shown to the entire world through this camera. Okay. Host platform. Used by the quiz show host.
That's right, your family has COVID, isn't that right? These aren't good for much other than for show. I hope you feel better. I hope your entire family feels better, honestly. Dazzling set. Giant monitor. A Mabi TV logo on a huge the monitor. The questions for the quiz also show up here, too. Big ol' monitor. Contestant seat. Seat for the consents. Contestants. Anything else? No, it's... All the same. What am I missing? There's a button. Electric kettle. Maybe it's for having tea during breaks. Have I missed anything? Firm status for the body combusted. I'm not seeing anything else. Monitor an X ray. doesn't have a thing that I can select, though. Because this is a signboard. Um, hmm. <sighs> Performers can check how they look on screen. Something inside of bodies. Contestant areas. We've looked at each one of these seats. Honestly, I want to know what this button does. But... There's nothing I can do to push it. Wait, can I get back here? No. Can I? No. No, I can't. Why is there so many mannequins? That's creepy. Um... And there's nothing I can select when I'm in QR mode. Or not QR mode. X-ray mode. Yeah. What's I this? Thought. Oh. Getting a better look at it. It looks like something tied to his waist. Oh, th there's a line coming out of it. Have a good nap, demon. It's like a spider's thread. No. Even thinner. My analysis concludes that this is a CNT or carbon nanotube. That's connected to the button cuz there was a string going from the button. Graphene sheets with the thickness of a single carbon atom. These were rolled into a cylindrical shape to make these nanotubes. The diameter is about 0.4 nanometers. A single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it's not visible to the naked eye. What? But I can see it. That's because this thread is made by bundling multiple CNTs. I've also enhanced your vision so you'd be able to see it. By the way, CNTs are extremely durable. They're elastic and hard to break, and it's said that their theoretical maximum tensile strength is 50 times that of steel. That is impressive. Anyway, where is the other end of the CNT connected? I know. But it's gonna show us anyway. Down to the button. 
That way. Over by that red lamp. Finally. Now I can interact with it. What's this? It's the light switch. The CNT is tied to it. Okay. So we've obtained that information. Okay. It looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. Using the clues we've gathered so far, we should be able to solve the mystery. You mean the mystery of how Jin's body appeared? That's what you're talking about, right? Someone flipped the switch and it dropped the body, maybe? Yep. Alright, the truth reenactment allows you to find the truth with the information you have gathered. Answers Tama answer Tama's question with the best answer. Only by correctly answering her questions can the truth be reenacted. Let's get on that now. Okay. First thing, about that power outage when the body appeared. Was it really just a power outage? I was wondering about that too. The lights came back on way too quickly. Plus, if the power did go out, the stream should have cut out at the same time. But the stream went on no problem. So someone just turned out the light. So it wasn't an outage. The lights were switched off. So how did the lights get turned off? Well... By using the light switch? I think I know what did it. That's the switch that powers the lighting. Yeah. Let's not overthink this. Someone simply walked up and flipped this switch. But no one was near the switch when the lights went out. Let's try to think of something else. An electric kettle? Maybe if someone turned on this kettle while the studio was using its maximum amperage. But the breaker didn't trip. Hmm, not there must that. be some other way. Could it be one of the contestants? The answer button by this contestant's seat is actually... It's not a light switch. Not a light switch, okay. There were bundled CNTs tied to the body. They were routed through the ceiling beams and onto the light switch. But a dead body can't pull strings. Oh, she's so cute! No, but it can fall. That's true. They shoved it off the, the top? Ceiling, I mean. Now that you mention it, I thought I heard something hit the floor right after the lights went out. The body fell from the ceiling and tugged on the CNT, which caused the light switch to turn off. So on to the okay, next so question. that's the first one. The corpse was hidden up in the ceiling, right? Then how did it fall? It was pushed. Uh, ceiling beams were damaged. Culprit dropped it from above. CNT attached to the switch was pulled. The burger mortis softened. Might be the burger mortis softened. That way, the person doesn't have to be there if they knew exactly when it was. Let's do all the wrong answers first. Maybe the ceiling beams were deteriorating. And the body fell when a beam broke. But there's no broken beams. But none of the beams were broken. It must have been something else. Let's figure this out. Um... The CNT extended from the corpse to the light switch, so... The corpse would fall if you tugged on the CNT. But that would mean someone was near the light switch. And no one was near the light switch. There wasn't anyone around it at the time. Let's try again. I don't think it's this one. I really think it's that one, but... The culprit must have been hiding up in the ceiling. And when the time was right, they dropped the corpse. A simple answer, but no. I've already confirmed that no one was up there. Hmm. Can you think of some other way? She's absolutely a degenerate. <laughs> the culprit used the mechanism of the body softening after rigor mortis. The body must have been placed up in the ceiling like a bridge between two beams. It would stay up there while the body is still stiff. But as time passes and rigor mortis lessens, the corpse softens. And it was a 24-hour stream, I think, because they were doing teams of people coming on. So it could have been up there for a while. And that's what made it fall down. 
Now for the final question. Why did the body explode and burn? Well, that can be explained by using the X-ray mode. It's because of the contraption set up inside the body. The ignition agent combusted from the impact of the body hitting the ground. The fire went up the coiled fuse and onto the substance that triggered a thermite reaction. To be fair, Iba was mean to Date because Date deserved it. <laughs> he, he was horny and degenerate on his own. The substance was she eventually didn't need to. ignited, causing a huge explosion. She, she was a perfect foil to him, I think. And since Ryugi is so innocent feeling, that makes Tama a really good foil to him as well. So that interval between the fall and explosion was because of the time it took for the fire to reach the end of the fuse. I get it. It was hard to find traces of that trick because it was such an analog method. All right, I think we're starting to figure things out here. So you can turn off this VR space now. No, not yet. That was just a rehearsal. We still have the main show. What do you mean? We're recreating the culprit's actions. Are you telling me to do that? You're the only actor here, aren't you? Oh, great. Actor? So, I'm Tama, the director and camera <laughs> operator. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. <laughs> are we recording something? Of course we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. Check your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! <laughs> are you too much of a moron to figure this out without the director having to tell you everything? Well, you're the director. You should direct. But... Just zip it and play the culprit. If we're doing this, we're going for the Macademy Award. Macademy? Like the nuts? Enough! <laughs> Let's get this started! Ready? Action! Um. Hi! I'm, uh, the culprit who killed Jin. Now, prepare to witness an amazing show featuring. The <sighs> Not only is your acting amateurish, Oops. but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur! Well, this is just the beginning, so I'll give you a pass for now. Let's start with the positioning of the body. Where and how was it placed? Well... It was right here. The body was placed so it was hung like a bridge between two beams. You can place it like this because it was stiff from rigor mortis. So that's how they did the light trick. Carbon nanotubes, CNT, were tied to the body. The CNT went up the beams and extended downward onto the light switch. CNT is too thin to be seen with the naked eye, so no one noticed it. I've got it all set up. Now I just need to wait for the rigor mortis to subside. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in character? Boy! I sure hope the corpse gets <laughs> softer soon! What is that dance? It needs to be soft and squishy! Like an octopus! <laughs> this scene makes no sense. I'm cutting it out. You made me do it! <laughs> and after time passed, rigor mortis began to subside. The body falls, and the impact sets off the ignition agent inside it. The fire travels up the fuse line. Soon after, a staff member turns on the lights. Bam! A body appears, as if it teleported in out of nowhere. Sometime later, the burning fuse inside the body reaches the explosives. Then kaboom! And that is the truth behind the corpse's sudden appearance and explosion! Cut! Good work! 
I got some nice footage of the reenactment. I still don't understand why the acting was necessary. Reasons, Ryuki. Reasons. It all makes sense now. That corpse didn't teleport here after all. Yes, blackmail. Of course it didn't. Though the culprit obviously wanted it to seem that way. Half of a body just suddenly appearing out of nowhere. Just like the Philadelphia experiment. Mm -hmm. Someone went through all that trouble to make it look like something strange occurred. I think they also wanted to draw as much attention as possible to that sign. All so they could spread that QR video. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, let's see. About time the rigor mortis would some time. Why would they blow up the corpse? About the cross section was facing downward. About the reason. That body fell from the studio ceiling. If it fell sideways when it landed, the culprit's plans would have been ruined. Yeah, it would have. How did they manage to get it to land so perfectly? Yes, like you said, it would have been pointless unless the sign was standing erect. Just like a man's you know what? Yes, Tama. Again with that joke? Besides, it is not useless when it's not erect. Exactly. What? There was another purpose to the sign. It's the same reason darts and rockets have tails. I get it. The cut surface would naturally face the ground because of that sign. It was meant to control the body's posture as it fell. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, why did they blow up the corpse? Their Dramatic goal effect? Was to make it seem like a supernatural phenomenon. That's why they couldn't leave the CNT on the scene. Because it would give away the trick? Right. So that's why they caused a thermite reaction and destroyed the CNT. Oh. CNT is high. Hi highly flammable carbon material. It doesn't stand a chance against 3,000 degree temperature, but it bonds with oxygen to create carbon dioxide, which helps extinguish the flame. Alright. About the time rigor mortis would subside. The culprit must have wanted the body to fall during the live stream, right? It would have been pointless otherwise. But could they really predict when rigor mortis would dissipate so accurately? The culprit didn't put the corpse up on the ceiling beams while it was completely stiff. It had to have been after the body had started to soften, just slightly. That way, they could estimate that the body would fall in a few hours or so. The stream was scheduled for a whole six hours. The culprit was fine as long as the body fell sometime during that period. So, there was a potential it wouldn't have fallen during our part of the stream. So, to wrap it all up, the culprit's motive was to make this seem like a supernatural phenomenon and to spread the QR video, right? Also to freak Iris out, because she's fun to freak out. <laughs> I don't know if that's all there is to it, but probably. I wonder why Jin was chosen. Who knows? Where could his left side be? Remember, this is six years in the past. It hasn't right been found yet. Anyway, starting our search with the people who might have the intel we need is the number one rule of investigation, right? Like who? Jin's right half was up in the studio ceiling the whole time we were shooting the show. There must be someone who knew about it, or at least noticed it. You mean... The director! Chinpei Wagai! Right. Where is he now? I've tracked him down using his smartphone GPS. He's in Akihabara right now. At the Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket. Hmm. All right, let's go. Uh, anything else we can see? Standing there, so it seems. Anything else? No, no. Okay, we can't actually look at anything. To Sunfish Pocket we go. Away. I love that he has such an awesome car, as opposed to Date, who had his sports car. <laughs> Ryuki travels in style. It's been a while since we've been here.
There he is. Yes. Ah, shit. What? <clears throat> Why? Why are we suddenly having a shootout? The heck? Uh, yoink. So slow. <laughs> what is this matrix bullshit? severely hurt someone, dude. What happened to being a civilian? Firing your gun in here? Are you insane? Seriously. There are customers and staff in here. There were. My bad. You're bad. You're bad. An apology is not gonna cut it. Several people have called the authorities. You're gonna get arrested, dude. The local police should be here soon. Hey, can't you just let me go? What? No. <laughs> I told you, my girl's pregnant, right? You should have thought of that before you pulled your gun. I can't go to jail! Should have thought of that before you pulled your gun! That's why I accepted his offer in the first place. His offer? Who, whose offer? I needed money to take care of my kid. Accepted whose offer? Some guy named Terror. Is he a frayer? I don't know his real name. I haven't seen all my contact with him was through Nile. Bloody Nile again. What, why why do people just accept things through Nile? Oy. What did he ask you to do? He said I want to borrow your studio for an hour or so on the 10th before you start preparing for the stream. Do not let anyone near the studio during this time. That includes you. All you need to do is keep the entrance unlocked. That's all. I'll pay you five million. If everything goes well, I'll pay you on the night of the 11th. So me and the staff haven't met this terror guy at all. I don't know what happened in the studio either. I had no idea that was gonna happen. Come to class 3A at Sec Sikaba High. You'll get your money there. Class 3A at Sekiba High. Ryuki! Yeah, let's go! Guess we're going to Sekiba High. <laughs> Good thing it's a mature stream, because holy shit, 5 mil! Yeah, that would get you bopped uh, in, a, in my regular streams. Chikara! Director of Horidori Institute of Genetics. Chikara Horidori. No way. It can't be. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Nothing to be done. February 12th, Ryuki Chapter 2. Kumi Shrine, February 12th, 1015. Why are we at the shrine? And why does Ryuki know this shrine? Mr. Date told me about this shrine. Oh. This place is so full of nature. Just like Yoyagi Park. And he likes being in nature. It's just calming here. I see. Tama, would you mind giving me some support? What do you mean? I've been thinking about Chikara's murder. Are you sure you're okay, Ryuki? What do you mean? I feel like all of this has been taking a huge mental toll on you. How would you think it doesn't? I'm fine. Have a good lurk, kitty. More importantly, can you recreate the kitty crime can. scene for me? I just need to close my eyes, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> fine. I'll play along. You are technically my master. I 
can't disobey your orders. Thanks. Uh, let's start then. Tama is a good egg. I mean, she's an eye. She's not an egg. But she's good. It's perfect. It's just like the real thing. I learned how to do 3D modeling in a correspondence course. Back when I was a student, my grandma told me I should learn a skill set. Who's your grandma? Iba? I have questions. Alright, let's look at the corpse. Jikara's right side. The cross section is stuck right onto the blackboard. How is it stuck onto the blackboard? What's the estimated time of death? Based on the time the body was discovered, that would make it about four hours ago. So, around 8 p.m. on February 11th, right around the time we were meeting with Tokiko. X-ray. I'm sorry, Ryuki. This might freak you out, but there's something I have to tell you. Will you hear me out? What? The thing is, this corpse is so cowardly that... It has no guts! <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, I know. That was so bad, the joke was over before I even said it. But I just had to do it! I mean, look, the corpse is completely missing its guts! I couldn't let this chance pass me by. <laughs> the reason the corpse is on Looks the blackboard like is because it doesn't have any internal organs anymore. The open space in the body has a lower pressure than the outside. It's similar to how suction cups work. Uh, what? It's similar to how suction- That's not how bodies work! I- I- I have issues with this explanation. No other clues here? I mean, Tiz, do you want to be cut open well, and we'll scoop your guts I'm out sorry. and cut you in half and stick you to a blackboard? How about that? We can do that. Come on over, we'll do it. Well, satisfied? Hmm. It's all in the name of science. Uh, what about the security cameras? I checked the footage, but I didn't see anyone suspicious. We already know the security cameras are shit because of, uh, w w what's his face, Ren? Uh, he got through without triggering them. Of course, that place is huge, so there are plenty of areas the security cameras don't cover. Any cameras on campus? None. Do you remember what Gen said? Gen. The security at Sekiba High is completely lacking. Um, this terror the culprit. That's my assumption. I can't think of any other suspects. Just who is this terror? I wouldn't be having so much trouble if I knew that. It can't be Tokiko, can it? Tokiko was with me at Chikara's time of death, and she was in Okinawa during the incident with Jin. Yeah, at the very least, it seems unlikely that she did it personally. But something has been bothering me. I feel like Tokiko is involved somehow. Chikara was a member of Nye's, and he knew about Bats 490. He was a former member of Nye's, but he's now a member of the Order of Percent. Which means I think this is tied to the uh, Order of Percent. That's not all. The appearance of Jin's corpse was made to seem like a paranormal phenomenon. As if the same thing from the Philadelphia experiment had happened. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. A false world created by a program. Could she have done all this to give her claim credibility? I don't know, but it's possible. Mm. I think her fanatical offshoot might have done it, but not her. Go look at her. No. About the Nile message. She was lying about the money. You think? We found a... We... <laughs> Uh, unless the money is just stuffed inside of Chikara, we didn't find anything. Terror probably wanted someone to find Chikara's body. Right. You mean he wanted Chimpei to find it? 
Not necessarily. It might have been for the police. Terror might have predicted that someone from the police would contact Chinpei. It's a possibility. In any case, let's go see Tokiko. It could be a play on words, the name at least. Terror? Because if you say it too fast, it sounds like terror as in like the emotion. Like... Like that. But it could be just a play on words. I don't know. I have to talk to her. Understood. We've come this far. I'll back you up until you're satisfied. Limo. Nye Japan branch. Uh, at sa same day, 1120. And I've we're been back. expecting you. I thought you would be arriving soon. What do you mean? Oh? I mean, I knew you would come see me. And why is that? Why do you stop doing that stupid hand signal? Um. Okay, I looked at her. About this room. Why the sunglasses? These aren't sunglasses. Then what are they? It's a fairy's black bra. What? What? What a degenerate. <laughs> Says the degenerate. Uh, about this room. As you know, this is the president's office at the Nye's Japan branch. The world is full of rubbish. Such things should all be washed away. That was my thinking when I designed this room. It's very watery. You designed it. Yes. The flow of water cleanses one's heart, just like the flow of time. Stop doing that. Anything suspicious about your boss? Would you tell me? Not really. She's a kind woman. But I obviously wouldn't tell you even if I did know something. Figured. As her secretary, it's part of my job to protect her secrets. Just her secretary, not also bodyguard. Mamaru is an excellent employee who faithfully fulfills his duties. I don't want to know about your side thing. I have complete trust in him. I'm honored to hear that. I respect you from the bottom of my heart as well. Get a room. Gag. Uh, do you know someone named Chinpei? No, I don't. Then do you know about Terror? I've heard that name on the news, yes. This is about the culprit, is it not? Yes, but... I have absolutely no idea who it could be. I'm sorry I can't help you, but... Um... Jin's right half didn't teleport. I've solved the mystery, Miss Shigure. Jin's right half didn't teleport. It was just made to seem that way. It should have been obvious when you think about it. Teleportation? It's impossible. We live in a simulation? This is a fake world created by a program? Impossible. Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. Just a ludicrous myth like UFOs, ghosts, and Kappa. I'm sure there are people who'd like to believe in these things. And there are groups who profit by making people believe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ryuki, it appears as though there's been some misunderstanding. We of Nyes have nothing to do with this. Are you sure about that? All the pieces would fit together if Nyes is the one that made the QR video. The falsified paranormal phenomenon. What was written on the signboard. It all advances your agenda. Or the order of percentage. Could it be that you wanted to spread the QR video by showing that sign along with the corpse on stream? As I've told you, we are not the ones who made the QR video. What is the purpose of the QR video in the first place? Are you saying there is some message urging people to join Nyes in it? We haven't decoded that. We should probably run it by, uh, Shoma. About Chikara's murder. I know of the incident, of course. However... Yes, I know you have an alibi. We were here, having a conversation during the time of Chikara Horidori's death. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're completely innocent. Could have one of your lackeys do it. You are the president of Nyes. Surely you have plenty of subordinates who can do your bidding. Are you implying I ordered someone to kill him? It's a possibility. 
And what would be my motive? Um, well... Remember what Tokiko said. Chikara Horidori is an avid believer in the Order of Percent. Their Order and Nyes are heading in completely different directions. Perhaps Nyes and the Order of Percent are hostile. I see. You're suggesting there was a conflict between organizations. It is true that Nyes and the Order of Percent have differing beliefs. However, we are not at odds with one another. Both organizations believe in the simulation theory. In that respect, we are comrades. In that respect? In what other respects are you not? What do the... Uh, what do Nai and the Order of Percent believe in? We are living in a simulation. A false world. And from this false world, we seek emancipation. That is what Nai's believes. On the other hand, the Order of Percent. We are living in a simulation. A false world. But they wish to remain imprisoned within it. Forever. Forever? Mr. Ryuki. Have you ever played an open-world game where you play as a criminal? Right, you wouldn't want to leave that world and actually be held for your... Uh, held to be responsible for your consequences inside of the simulation. A game that lets you rob, murder, blow things up, leave a trail of debris wherever you go. So Grand Theft Auto, essentially. An absurd, heinous game where you can freely commit all sorts of horrible crimes. I've never played anything like that, but <laughs> I know what you mean. Then you can understand. If or this is a false world created by someone, then the Order of Percent believe they can do whatever they wish. To them, this place is a true utopia. A dream world where they're allowed to do anything they want with no real consequences. That's why they want to live here forever? Exactly. I get it. That's why Jikara was researching immortality. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? Yikes. About his research on immortality, do you know about it? I am aware that Chikara was very particular about immortality. However, I will say one thing. One must not believe in eternal youth. Eternal youth is a lie. By the way, Mr. Ryuki, do you remember what you said earlier? Simulation theory is nothing but occult nonsense. That is clearly false. The simulation theory is not occult. It falls within the realm of science. In fact, Many esteemed scientists have given serious thought to the matter. The theory was originally proposed by a Swedish philosopher. However, the concept has been around since long ago, even as far back as the days of Plato and Zhuang Se. This world may be an illusion. At least, there is no way to prove it isn't an illusion. There are great people throughout history who have held such ideas. But there's no way to prove it is an illusion either. Is there? No, there is plenty of science to support it. The holographic principle, theory of relativity, the measurement problem in quantum theory can also be considered proof. Uh, holographic principle? Even light cannot escape a black hole. I'm sure you've heard this before. Information is the same. It cannot escape a black hole. Welcome back. We're doing pseudoscience. It's known that the amount of information trapped in this way is not derived from the volume of the black hole, but the surface area. Considering this, you can conclude that information in a three-dimensional space is stored in the boundary of its two-dimensional surface. In other words, all information stored in this universe is encoded in a single flat plane, just like a hologram. Regarding gravity and other physical processes, they can be completely accounted for through the laws of physics defined by the boundary surface. Let's take a character from an action game, for example. When that character falls, <laughs> you may think Off he was Mario. the ground by gravity. However, 
Gravity does not actually exist in the game world. Only code that was written in the program. The character's body is merely made to show as if it fell based on its code. You think this world is the same? The holographic principle is not a theory. It is a principle. It has already been mathematically proven. Okay, uh, that's a nice watch. I see. Then let us leave it at that. In Kyoto, people say you have a nice watch case, as a way to no say, can we stop talking is so already? By making someone look at their watch, they see how much time they've spent to prompt them to ask them to r wrap up the conversation. Tokiko doesn't have a watch, so she must have been really annoyed when she heard this. But unlike Chikara, I have no interest in the concept of- I wanted to see the other options, too. Because my objective is to tear at the seams of this world- I didn't know that. ...and emancipate us all. So you mean dying? No. Death and emancipation are completely different. I, I have haven't no saved recently, so I can't go back. Though I would be fine with dying at any time. Because this world isn't real. There is that, yes. However, there is another reason. If I wish to do so, I can resurrect myself. Uh, what? We are living in a false world created by a program. Therefore, if we can rewrite its code, we can create miracles. Like reincarnation, or even... Oh god! <laughs> Bringing someone who has already passed back. What is that face? Ugh. That's creepy. Has this woman lost it? Yes. Ryuki, you are right. There's clearly a lot of reasons to be suspicious of Tokiko. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs sleep Let's anyway? Check with wing sync. All right, we can only do one at a time, and we did her last time, but I guess we're doing her again. Anime as heck. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. What? What is this? Looks like Tokiko is blackmailing hmm. someone. What is it she saw? I don't know. This is as far as we can get through Wink Sink. We need to go deeper. Then... Yes, let's get a deeper look into her mind, using a regular sink. Best HQ, same day at noon thirty. Yeah, thinking with her it is going to be a trip. Hey, hey, hey. Ryuki, just to confirm, you did get permission, right? Eh, who needs that? Yes, she accompanied me voluntarily, and no, I meant from boss. I haven't seen Boss. She wasn't in the control room. It's fine. I'll be sure to talk to her later. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Besides, you don't look so good, Ryuki. I'm fine. So please. Are we going through a mental break? I need more leads to solve this case. Something? But you... Oh, fine. Why is Peter so worried? I'll help you for now, but I won't be held responsible. So is it just Look, me, or is her, uh... Please just don't cause any problems. To Tokiko's outfit is very reminiscent of Date's. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Could just be me. I absolutely need you to follow this rule. Rules are for fools. Yes, understood. Okay then. 
Let's begin. <laughs> Flash warning. <laughs> we want to switch bodies with Tokiko so we can make weird faces. Hmm. It's surprisingly I calm wonder, in here. This is a nice president's room. It's really white, though. Yeah, um. It is actually time for us to end stream. So, I already have control. <laughs> Talking about it might solve things. What? Yes? Worried about work? Uh... Huh. AI counseling service? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Overtime's rough, huh? Oh man, my job is unending. You're doing well. That's because you're doing the job that someone else should be doing. But don't blame others for it. The more you struggle, the more it makes someone else happy. What goes around, comes around. Just believe in me. I promise. What is... what... what is going on? I hope something good comes out of all this. I hope something good comes out of all this. Yes. Though, I could teach you something that feels good. Taba! <laughs> no. Ooh, dress up. Do I have anything to dress her up in? Costumes are now available for previously cleared scenes. Scene is available. Converge chapter, Strange Tale, Mizuki, and more. It's fine. Dress me as you please. Stop it. Come. I will be your opponent. This white part, you can paint it whatever color you Oh my god. Come. Shark movies aren't really hard. <laughs> They're basically their own genre. It's a Shark movies aren't really hard. Oh my god. <sighs> The heck? <laughs> Wait, no, I wanted I wanted the shark head. Shark movies aren't really horror. I don't have a costume for this category. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. I love it. I love it. I needed that laugh. Uh. All right, we're saving. That is save. We're quitting. I wonder if that'll that uh I wonder if that outfit will hold. <laughs> I wonder if that'll uh, still be a thing in the next stream. That 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 would be hilarious. Uh, stream ending. All right. Now let's get some music on. Oh man, what what a game! Just this entire game has been a trip. It's just been an absolute trip. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so we learned some more stuff. We've got a second body on our hands that still doesn't have another half. And now it's missing its organs. So we're pretty confused by all of that. We don't know what's going on. No one really knows what's going on. Um, so we gotta figure that out. 
Uh, I really hope that there's a way to go back and um, go through those different options. Because uh, th th those other theories, other than the hypothesis theory, I... I really hope that there's a way to go back and check that out because I, I did not mean to exit out of that. But ADHD made me go and look at insignificant details, basically. I didn't realize that was the exit. That happens sometimes. I'm sorry. But, um, so basically the plan for the next week is, um... There will not be any stream on Saturday because I'm going to be going and kayaking with some friends. Uh, we will have stream again on Tuesday and Thursday of next week. And we should be able to have stream as normal on Saturday. Um, I want to play either Phasmo or Forewarned on Tuesday or Thursday. Um, I really want to play Forewarned with a heart rate monitor. Because I think that would be fun. And um, I'm going to see if I can get some people around to do that. Um, if anyone wants to do that with me, let me know. Uh, just shoot me a ping, I guess. Um, but I think that would be very cool and good. I have not played Forewarned yet. Um, I really want to because Egyptians, ancient Egyptians are my thing. I love ancient Egypt. I it, It's always been a huge love of mine. Um, I've watched some Let's Plays of Forewarned and it does look super scary. Um, I've also got a huge... I don't know how I would say it. Like, I'm terrified of the dark. So, um, I feel like it's going to trigger that fear a lot, and I might scream a lot. Hence the heart rate monitor, so you can see me have a heart attack on stream. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, though that, so that's my ideas. Those are my ideas for next week. Um, and if anything ends up changing, like I end up having to cancel for any kind of reason i will post that to my socials which is i use twitter for um announcements so this is the link to my socials if it works there it goes that was my alarm going off. Um, so that's my socials, that's my Twitter, and my YouTube. And I am actually fully caught up on uploading all of the VODs to my YouTube. So if you miss a video and you want to go and catch up, you can find all of the uh, previous uh, VODs on YouTube. They're all organized by playthroughs. So there is a dedicated AI Somnium Files Nirvana playlist. Uh, there is actually a playlist for the first game as well which gives a lot more backstory to this entire game so if you want to go watch that there's the link for the youtube and i hope you enjoy it but uh it's a very good game it's a very silly game and a uh, very horny um very mature not 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 for kids <laughs> but um Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the game. And I will catch you on Tuesday night. Um, and when you get to it, have a wonderful rest of your night. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And uh, when you get to it, sleep well, my lovelies. Stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Good night. <laughs>